Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel, or you are returning to my channel to watch this video, it is greatly appreciated. As always, I'm filming this video in one go, therefore I apologise in advance if I stumble over my words going forwards, and indeed if the quality of this video is fairly poor as well. If there's any lag, anything like that at all, sadly it cannot be helped, and hopefully it is not too much of an issue for you. This is yet another Eurovision 2021 related video here on my channel. As I'm recording this, it is just past 4 o'clock in the afternoon on the 11th of May 2021, a Tuesday, one week from today, the first semi-final of this year's Eurovision Song Contest will take place live from the Ahoy in Rotterdam in the Netherlands. And now, all of the semi-final participants have rehearsed at least once on that stage. Today, we've had another batch of nations, another batch of artists, the second half of semi-final two, to be precise. I'm going to give you my thoughts on the rehearsal clips that have been uploaded to the official Eurovision YouTube channel today and I have the Eurovision website up in front of me as well just to make sure that I can articulate my thoughts a little bit better. So let me know your thoughts of course and because we've now had all of the semi-final acts rehearse at least once maybe let me know your overall winner, your overall disappointment. I'll be talking about a blog post that I'll be putting together later today as well at the end of this video. So Georgia was first today. This is You by Tornike Kipiani. It says here on the Eurovision website, there's something hauntingly beautiful about this performance, making effective use of the stage spotlights and huge graphics screen to create kaleidoscopic clouds. It had the atmosphere of a 90s Radiohead video. Now, this song, I think a lot of Eurovision fans are expecting this to finish last in the second semi-final, if not last overall, of this year's contest. I have to say, I found it really quite dull to watch. I'll be totally honest with you. Um, he just stood there, sang quite well. We've got minimal lighting. There doesn't really seem to be a whole lot happening around him or on the LED screen behind him. We did have some sort of psychedelic effect at one point, and at the end of the rehearsal clip, it seemed as though somebody, uh, one of the stagehands, was moving some sort of block on stage. What that's for, I'm not entirely sure. This just didn't stand out nearly enough, and apparently as well, during some of the run-throughs earlier today, he was doing weird things with his voice, almost as if he was trolling us. That's what I've heard. Uh, whether he was really doing that or not, or just trying to do different things with his voice, I really don't know. Um, this song isn't going to qualify, let's be quite honest. It would be a real shock if it did go through as one of the ten qualifiers next Thursday. Like I said before, how can you stage this song in a way that's going to get people talking, that's going to make people remember it? I don't think you can, truth be told. As much as he's a fine singer... This just felt way too static, way too uninteresting, and I think we can say Georgia is not going to go through, but maybe you disagree with me. Anyway, next up, Albania. Now, I thought this was really quite strong, and Shella, there she is, looking terrific in a relatively short, sparkly, shimmery dress. It says here, and Shella has gone for short, silver and sparkly, which is definitely a costume theme this year. It's a powerful vocal performance. Yes, the vocals were on the money. Albania, as I've said before, they've just got a plethora of great female singers. This year we've got another one. I love the backdrop as well, red and black, the colours of the Albanian flag, this sort of stormy image on the screen behind her. Doesn't seem as though she's got any backing vocalists, maybe they're off to one side well hidden, but as I've said before, her voice is enough, she can carry this song, she's powerful enough to do that, and I think this is going to stand out quite well from the field. Albania is turning into, and I was thinking about this earlier, remember in the mid-2000s when Macedonia just had a habit of creeping through to the final several years in a row, Albania is becoming like that. Uh, I really don't mind this. I'm going to like it more and more as time passes. Perhaps after the contest, my appreciation will just rock it up. Uh, it says here, no backing dancers, instead using the digital screen for a backdrop of gathering clouds. Absolutely. This is atmospheric, really nicely done. Then we have Portugal. Now, this is slowly emerging 
as a potential qualifier. I think we need to start saying that this could really go through. It's the Black Mamba, Love is on my side, the first Portuguese entry we've ever had entirely in the English language. It says here it's a soulful number that will hopefully have everyone in the arena, that's the uh, reduced capacity crowd of course, swaying along next Thursday. Um, what else does it say here about Portugal? Aha! It's a classy performance, a hugely classy performance. Great to see a full band on stage and the animated graphics add real charm. Now do we have some images here because uh, I think it would be best to um, just go through the pictures and remind myself. What we had in the rehearsal clip, on the backdrop we have lots of warm colours, this sort of golden orange glow. We've got swirling heart patterns, almost like concentric circles almost, and we've got a silhouette of an orchestra on the backdrop too. It looks really beautiful, smartly dressed, lead singer in a hat, and he's on the runway with the rest of the band behind him. Vocals really strong too. Can't fault it. Portugal looking really strong today. And I'm glad that this is a step up from what we had in the national final a few months ago. This isn't just a copy-paste scenario. Really nicely done. Portugal looking good at this moment in time. Then we had Bulgaria, one of the favourites to win. This was great. It was great. Uh, Victoria sang really nicely. She was in a sort of light blue, fairly casual outfit. Growing Up is Getting Old. This song is growing on me more and more and more. I'm not sure it's in my personal top ten yet, but it is going that way. Uh, let's see what it says here. Yeah, well, anyway, Bulgaria. What does it say? Yeah, uh, Victoria was performing on this large rock-like podium. We've got this sort of starry effect on the backdrop. Apparently, at one point, she looks down at an image of her younger self and her father, something along those lines. I know that her father has had various... Uh, health issues. I think it's ALS over the past year he had his diagnosis. So that's a really touching, emotionally charged moment that hopefully will connect with the audience at home as well. There's such a fragile but beautiful quality to her voice. And overall, this was really nicely done. There's not a whole lot of lighting, at least in the rehearsal clip that we saw online, but we have warm tones really trying to bring that atmosphere from the music video onto the Ahoy stage. This was really good. I think it's a very serious contender to win. However, I don't even have it down as winning the second semi-final. More on that in a moment. Let me know your thoughts. Finland next. Well, well, well. Uh, this, for me, was really strong too. It says here, they've just lifted the roof off the Rotterdam Ahoy. The full band is on stage with the smoke machine on full blast and scenes from the official video projected behind them. Finnish rock gods, one and all, and we haven't even seen the pyro rehearsal yet. Uh, then it says there are 12 flame outlets and 4 giant smoke vents as we try to count how many repetitions and fail to keep up. Finland, terrific. Uh, like it says, we did have images from the music video on the backdrop. Uh, they're wearing black outfits, um, steam rising from the stage, uh, you know, plenty of energy. Vocals weren't too bad either. I didn't hear any hiccups at all. And this is going to stand out an absolute mile. This will get points from all corners of the continent. It's going through... And I think it's everything we wanted and maybe a little bit more. Fantastic stuff from Finland. Then Latvia took to the stage. And I'm really glad about this because it wasn't messy. It's almost as if they took the staging idea from last year and have just changed it ever so slightly and popped it onto the Ahoy stage for this year. This is The Moon is Rising. I'm not a big fan of this song, never will be. Samantha uh, in a green outfit and her backing singers in visors and green outfits too. Vocals really good, we don't need to worry about that. There was a regal quality to this. Her backing singers off to one side, Samantha front and centre of course, and we had this sort of golden pattern on the backdrop, really nice. I'm just going to take a look at some of the images here. Yeah, certainly a different colour scheme green outfits which we don't often get as well 
and quite a fierce, strong performance on the whole from Samantha. I don't know if this is going through, but this wasn't a bad showing whatsoever. If anything, the stage felt a bit empty. There needs to be a little bit more. Whether we're going to get that or not, I don't know. Then we had Switzerland. And all I can say about Switzerland is this. That's all I can say. This is one of the contest favourites delivering. Absolutely. I've already seen a few negative comments online. I'll be totally honest, that baffles me. Because this blew everything else away. Almost everything away. Absolutely terrific. John's Tears with Tout l'Univers. And the first word, the first term I saw to describe this performance online a few hours ago was avant-garde. And that made me think, oh, hang on a minute, they're trying a bit too hard. This is going to confuse people. Maybe it has, I don't know. Anyway, he's in a rather jazzy uh, black uh, shirt with patterns all over it. It says here, John is in black sequins on a square frame made up of white pillars. And I think they're really effective. He's not behind a piano. Yes, we didn't want that. And the staging features a watery digital background and some unexpected contemporary dance moves. I mean, what we saw in the rehearsal clip was quite tame, but very welcome. It's another piece of musical artistry that combines John's physical presence and extraordinary vocal performance, my word, his vocals, mwah, chef's kiss, with clever lighting and digital effects. This is going to look absolutely sensational on the TV. We just know it. And it looked really atmospheric. We did have that watery effect, but it didn't take up the whole LED screen. And right at the end of the chorus in the rehearsal video online, this sort of purple spotlight on him, nothing else around him. Oh, it was intimate, but it can also be grand as well. Terrific. I thought this really was one of the strongest rehearsals, if not the strongest first rehearsal overall that we've had so far. Terrific. And then that left Denmark. Now, this rehearsal clip was only uploaded about five minutes ago. Well, 15 minutes ago now. Uh, Denmark, of course, with the first Danish language entry from them this century. Fear of Flammer with Uvros Pahinanden practice on each other. Similar outfits, if not identical outfits, to what they wore in Dank's Melody Grand Prix. The lead singer in a white vest, silver trousers and a pink jacket. And then Lauritz, who is the guitarist, uh, behind him, uh, also in a fairly casual uh, but shimmery outfit. It says here, um, what does it say? Come on, I want to take a look at this. Yeah, pink and blue colour scheme again. Very 80s with this sort of triangular Tron-like pattern on the backdrop. I mean, very similar to how it was at the national final. We knew what we were going to get. The vocals... They need to be a little bit better still, but I wouldn't say they're atrocious. And this is fun. It's upbeat. It's a really nice closer to proceedings. I still don't think it's going through at this stage. Um, and I don't think there's going to be anything truly fancy with the camera angles or anything like that. There's a bit of pyro in this song at the end as well with the fireworks. Overall, not bad, but maybe not that incredible either. So, after that giant ramble, best rehearsal of the day, Switzerland, although Bulgaria runs John close. Biggest surprise of the day, hmm, I'm not sure. Biggest surprise of the day, let me get the list up here. Oh, Albania and Portugal, maybe Portugal actually. Um, that song is really, really coming up on the rails. We can't rule it out. I mean, the first semi-final is really tough to predict. The second semi-final is just as bad. Next week, we might get a lot of surprises. Uh, biggest disappointment. Well, I wasn't expecting much from Georgia. So I can't say that I'm thoroughly disappointed. Uh, I don't think anybody disappointed me today. It actually turned out to be a very solid day of rehearsals. Lovely stuff. Now... There is going to be a blog post, all being well, later today, which uh, shows you my ranking of all the rehearsals for semi-final one, all the rehearsals for semi-final two, and then all of them put together in one list. And then I'm going to put my updated predictions for the semi-final results next week on that blog post too. So if you're interested, 
take a look later on all being well it will be there link in the description as always to my blog post and other social media pages however i will run through my updated predictions just now for you uh, obviously with semi-final two this was rather hastily done a little while ago so it's not absolutely how i wanted i suppose just yet but anyway let me know your thoughts semi-final one i will go from bottom to top so north macedonia australia slovenia Belgium, Ireland, which I now think is an NQ, we need to see how those augmented reality things, those technical elements all come together in the second rehearsal. Then Norway, that's the one I'm really on the fence about. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, now the 10 qualifiers from 10th to 1st. Croatia in 10th, 9, Ukraine, 8, Romania, 7, Russia, 6, Azerbaijan, 5, Israel. That's a bit too high thinking about that. Mm, I don't know. 4, Cyprus, apparently. Uh, there's going to be a surprise in store for the second rehearsal. I look forward to that. 3, Sweden, 2, Lithuania, 1, Malta. However, Malta needs to step up just that little bit. Because it didn't give me winner vibes whatsoever. As for the second semi-final, bottom to top, Georgia, Poland... Can't rank it any higher. Estonia, Denmark, Portugal, Latvia, Austria. And then the 10 qualifiers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, 10th Czech Republic. 9, Albania, which is now a qualifier for me. 8, Moldova. 7, Serbia. 6, San Marino. 5, Finland. 4, Greece. 3, Bulgaria. 2, Iceland. 1, Switzerland. All of that on this blog post coming later on all being well let me know your thoughts thank you so much for the support over the past couple of days it means a great deal this is just a hobby but i must say i'm really looking forward to this year's contest how wonderful it is that we actually have a contest until next time take care of yourselves more rehearsals tomorrow i think it is and then on thursday the automatic finalists rehearse come on italy come on the uk come on france oh, come on everybody i'm looking forward to all of it until next time take care let me know your thoughts Hopefully the quality wasn't too bad. Bye for now.